Welcome. We are so excited that everybody's here tonight. What do you get when you mix magic, playfulness, and the cosmos? Otherworldliness. Welcome to Art Squinning here at the Coral Springs Museum of Art, where we provide art industry leaders a chance to chit chat in addition to a lot of our artists' exhibitions here. Currently on exhibition is Cheryl Mater's Supernatural. We're so excited to have Gary Antonio, in addition, her spouse and collaborator, in addition to Cheryl Mater herself. We are so excited that they're here tonight. But before we go into this fresh new presentation where we're going to walk and talk the exhibition, I'd like to take a moment and thank our grantees and our sponsors. We also would like to take a moment and thank the board of directors, in addition to all of our members who make this opportunity special because we get to sit and chat with all of our artists in addition to workshops classes, and of course, the exhibitions. So without further ado, please welcome Cheryl Mater and Gary Antonio. We're so glad you guys are here tonight. This so is great. wonderful to be here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's great to be here. We are really excited that you guys are here tonight. We're going to go ahead and start our walk and talk. But before we start, one of the things we want to say is, again, this is the Coral Springs Museum of Art, and this is Supernatural. It goes from January 19th until March 6th of this year. We hope that you guys get a chance to come down and see the exhibition on our website. You can sign up there. All right. So tell me, Cheryl, tell me a little bit about how you got here. What, what brought you here to this museum? But I know you've got a lot of background in the industry of photography and you technically describe yourself as a visual artist, not necessarily a photographer because right. you've melded the two mediums together. Yeah. Yes. Well, I actually started in San Francisco. I had my studio and eventually after years of hard work, I started shooting major advertising campaigns and fashion campaigns. Some incredible, some incredible campaigns. Thank you. And um, I was actually, my work was actually the inspiration for the Dove campaign on real women, real beauty, which helps which helped to transform the way women today are now seen in the media. So that was great. And uh, I guess in 2005 it was, um, I heard what was going on in Miami during Art Basel and what was happening here in art. And so Gary and I located here to the area of West Palm Beach, where I opened my studio there. And um, what happened is, I started shooting in this style in my fine artwork, my fine art photographs, which um, actually while I was traveling on the Costa Brava, I kept experimenting with my camera and I became an abstractionist and an impressionist with my work. And so when I, I was showing my work, uh, Marc Hashem from gallery Marc Hashem who shows his galleries in Paris and Beirut and New York. He loved my work and began showing my work to um, in all the major art fairs throughout the world. So then I also started filmmaking and shooting film and video installations. And after years of hard work, this is it. It's incredible. It's an incredible Thank retrospective you. of all of your pieces. A lot of your series like Submerge, The Voyage, your new series, Supernatural, which we'll be seeing in just a second. So are you ready to walk and talk some more? I'd love to. Let's do it. So um, one of the things that it's interesting, the director has uh, added one of your her favorite pieces right at the beginning of the exhibition. Um, tell us a little bit about this piece here. This is really great. This piece is from my beach series and this piece was actually what Mark fell in love with from um, Gallery Mark Hashem. And that's from this series. I just started um, exhibiting in all the you know, art fairs in Miami, Art Miami, Scope, and then around the world. It started from this. And I wanted to say, you know, I started out shooting impressionism and abstractionism, but my work is always changing and evolving as I am. And to me, basically- The mark of a true artist in my mind, but continue. I mean, I, I, thank I, you. Yeah, absolutely. But to me, um, 
my work is about connection. Connection to the self, each other, and to all life forms. So that's basically, and my work, as I say, just keeps moving and changing as I do. Yeah, absolutely. Let's continue on to the next sure. piece, which I, I, it's one of my favorite in the series, The Voyage. Um, the color, the vibrancy, the saturation. It's so fun to just sit there and look at all the various details that are in this piece. Um, tell us, now I know where this is. This was an interesting conversation that you and I had when you first came in along with the director as well as this piece could be anywhere. And I said, oh my gosh, this is, I won't say, I know where it is. I won't say, I'd love to hear your story, your, your piece up, your story on this. Okay. A lot of people have. So the voyage is, is about the magic that is here on this planet if we have eyes open to see. And so I like my work to feel timeless and the place where it was taken, when you say it, it kind of loses the magic of it. It could be anywhere. I was told when we, sh we actually showed this at, um, I think it was Scope Art Fair in Miami, and uh, some collectors came, wow, was that the Amazon? And then someone else said, is that Costa Rica? But, you know, I actually did um, photograph and did the film for this in um, the springs in Florida, actually. It's gorgeous. I love the color saturation in all of these people. It's about man, mm -hmm. you know, women, and uh, it's about how we are not separate from nature. We are nature. We are nature and we are, are the environment. So that's basically what this is about, that there is no separation. That's one of the things that I enjoy when I look at your pieces, is that interconnectedness of nature, flora, fauna, human being, and not just that, but the intellect as well, and how we connect with the cosmos, that interconnectedness. Yeah. It's really present in all of your pieces. Thank you. And you know, when I, and come up with a new idea, a new concept or whatever. It's, I never, before I do it, I never intellectualize about it. It just comes from my soul and it takes on its own meaning and transforms as it goes along. And then I come up with the artist statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love this piece. There's a couple more that we're gonna be taking a look at later on. As we head into the next room, on the east side of this museum, we're gonna see another portion of the voyage. This one here um, has a little bit to say, and I know that um, we talk about sort of that, we talked about the interconnectedness of you know, plants, humans, and how we affect the planet ourselves, how humans right. you know, place that on, onto the planet and the consequences behind them. So, uh, this particular, particular uh, video installation, for months, I filmed butterflies. And with the audio, I don't know if you could hear it when it starts coming in, but it, it has that otherworldliness and that magic of it that I wanted to express. And as you know, if we don't watch out, butterflies will be also going extinct. So. Right, with the bees as well. Yeah. And I know that you're not just only creating a visual piece of art, 
but at the end of your piece, you do actually have text along with it talking right. about humans' effects on planet Earth yeah. and vis-a-vis and -vis climate change. And that includes myself. Right. So I'm not like speaking to other people what other people should do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like all of us. You know, here at the museum, it's really one of the fun things about this exhibition are the visuals in addition to the audio that accompanies the pieces. Because when you come into the museum, you hear these echoes of different. Oh, so it's, it's so much fun to say, what, what's, where's that? Where's that coming from? And to sort of search it out. And then, and then it, it pulls you in to really be connected with the piece. So it's really neat. We can pin you this way. We're glad to have some of our guests here as well. We're happy to have you guys here as well to be participants with this presentation. One of the pieces that, um, that is incredible, and that we'll, we'll talk a little bit more later on down the road in the main gallery, because there is a, a video with it, is Submerge. And Submerge is so eminent. I just, it's, it's so um, awe-encompassing in terms of you really want, and mysterious in terms of really wanting to connect. And I think you even mentioned sort of the water of our souls on this one. Yeah. But, we, but let's talk about that when we get to, a little, I love it. Let's, let's go to Le Copine. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Le Copine. Another visual piece, another video piece here. Okay. Le Coping, uh, my inspiration was Renoir and the Impressionists. And I wanted to shoot female nudes, but I had a hard time finding models. And I was at my friend's 50th birthday party, and she was standing there, and I said, I'm having such a hard time finding models. And my friend was standing there with her glass of wine, and she goes, I'll do it. <laughs> and then I was my other friend who she's dutch she was standing there she goes i'll do it too and so then i called my other friend who uh is just beautiful inside out and i asked her and she goes sure i'll get naked for you <laughs> so i got three of my friends and we went to miami in the early morning to Hollower beach and another friend came and Two of my friends didn't know the other friend and everyone got along so well and the spirit was just so incredible, the energy, that I got these amazing photographs and I also did this video installation, Love Capine. And so I wanted to celebrate women of all different shapes and sizes. And by the way, Le Copin in French means my friends. I love it. Around the corner here, we're going to be talking a little bit about your newest series called Supernatural. And supernatural is, is just that. What you're able to create in supernatural is phenomenal. Oh, thank you. Um, we'll go around the corner here and take a look at We'll take a moment so that our, our viewing audience can also just take it in. Tell me a little bit about what's happening here. This is this is an incredible piece that you've created. Thank you. I began working on this project this past last March, actually when the pandemic hit, and I just craved desire to go into nature, and then. I had this, I had this idea of uh, filming 
of filming with these biodegradable, eco-friendly powders. And my husband, Gary, we collaborated on it actually, and he helped me through it. And everything for Supernatural was done on location with the elements of the light, uh, the wind, it was all done like that and not easy at all. But uh, we both persevered and created the series. And also with a lot of my work too, I work with um, Mary Tidy Coyle. She's a professor of art and she is an innovative, amazing artist. And we collaborate on my different projects and she edits all the film and it's been so incredible working with gary and mary that's fun to be able to to collaborate yeah. with other people on these especially our life partner yes yeah, so i have this video installation and also large scale photographs of the series as well let's go take a let's take a peek at some of those large photographs in addition we, we have some pigment as well that we use that you you guys use. Yes, I'm excited to see that too. Yes, but before we we step there, we have to take a quick quick minute to take a look at some of your other series of Voyage. A couple of other photographs. We have a couple of fun little interactive inflatables that really sort of spark the energy that I think reflect in these these pieces. Yeah, and I I loved it. Also at the reception, people were playing with the inner tubes and. That's how I feel about my work. I want it, you know, interactive. Um, I want it to, um, to, some, to instigate some type of emotion and for people to have fun and play. I yeah. think it's great. Yeah, you, you really do have, find that uh, perfect marriage between that magic and play and sort of imaginative uh, story behind each picture. There's definitely a story behind each photograph that you take and each Thank video. You. So as we head over here, these are some of the large stills from Supernatural, in addition to the, the eco-friendly and biodegradable pigments that you used in these photographs, in the video. Yeah. And I know that you've even, people have said, oh, this is all digitally done. This is all digital, isn't it? Yeah, and none of it's digital. If you can get a little closer on the powder, that would be great. So we made these little sculptural powders for this exhibition. But, and but these are some of the colors that Gary and I used. So Gary, I want to hear a little bit from you too. <laughs> what was it like? Um, <laughs> what was it like trying to get these powders up into the air? This is not a digital, <laughs> digital digitized photograph. This is not digitally enhanced. A lot of people think it is, it's not. It's something you actually threw up into the air, or not? Tell us how did technically how did you do that? Uh, the cosmic medium. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So we devised a plan uh, where we took these powders and uh, put them on a sur uh, a surface. When we first did it, it was it, the powder was was uh, plumping to the surface. So then we have had to come up with a um, another system. So we came up with a a very glossy paper, put on the uh, surface of the board that I was using, and then put the product on. So I would take a straw and blow into the powder, and then it would disperse out into the air. We had yeah. to be careful of the wind. Yeah. Um, because, but I just want to rephrase something, yeah. because there were times with the wind where it went all over Gary, and he had blue hair, <laughs> and it went all over me. Yeah. So there was a lot of that as well. That makes it, so, but doesn't that it create such a fun atmosphere for when you're creating these sorts of pieces too? I think that's what makes art great, that you put so much time and effort into it. It has more soul about it. Mm -hmm. And this work, by the way, is about the impermanence of life yeah. and about the change and how it's always moving and changing. So thereafter, I was called the blue man. <laughs> I love it. The blue. I'm still waiting for a photograph of that. I know you guys have a photograph of Gary with, with the blue hair. 
We will have another one. Good, yeah, excellent. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be. <laughs> So can you, is this, is this local, these photographs of where these places are? Or actually, is it up north? Actually, all over Florida. Uh, we filmed all over different parts of Florida in nature, in different elements of the woods, forests, lakes, and the ocean. Mm -hmm. So it's a combination. And it's still like evolving. Mm -hmm. I'm still mm -hmm. working on it. What does this, the cloud represent? Is it the spirit world or? Oh, that's so good you said that. Yeah. I, I feel that it's just like a sense that I have that we are part of this world, but we are connected to the whole universe and beyond. Pa who knows, parallel universes or whatever. But to me, it is like anyone, it's my work is subjective, but to me, it has this otherworldly feel of it coming in and healing, like this healing atmosphere that comes, goes through and then leaves and goes onward to the next. I love that, that's beautiful. Yeah. Anyway. I like. I know. I, I really like that. That's great. It's <laughs> funny because we, you know, we've been working with you, getting this exhibition together for so long now. It's been probably about two, three months, and and that's something I don't think I've heard anybody ask you is what that cloud or fog or what does it represent. And so I, it's nice to hear your answer. I love that you said that. I had someone say to me that that fog it represents magic to them. And um, that also made me feel like incredible that people understand what I was doing. Yeah, so it's it's great. I'm looking more. I'm looking forward to more supernatural. <laughs> Let's head over to um, one of the other fun visual pieces, uh, visual art pieces that you have in videos is called Pixel, your Pixel series. Um, and for me, it sort of is a reminder of, and I think you had mentioned it, um, talking about it was your memories of a child going to the shore. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And how, it, you know, we, it's like these pictures, these, these memories that we have of our childhood. And it really is representative when you see these groups of people on the beach sharing a moment. Well, this I also co collaborated with Mary Tidy Coyle on this. And I love that it goes from these different, um, film images that I took and it goes and creates like a digital painting. Mm -hmm. And we took the beach, I took the beach flowers and also the springs. Yeah. And I just like to read to you what this series is about. I have it here. The stories of our lives are documented through our moving pictures, as we keep repeating the moments over and over again, these digital fragments of our lives are then placed on social media, our social footprint immortalized. Is it our longing for others to know that we do in fact exist? Or is it enough for us to know that we are a pixel each of us in the infinite web. Yeah, that's a, it's, that's a deep sort of thought too, to think about that. Oh, there's some voyage. No, I mean, it, it is. It's we've become and actually I know that um, you've had a couple of uh, one of the other visual uh, pieces and films that you created was about you being the observer. And it's not in this exhibition tonight, but it's about you observing other people and how right. they're posting on social media. And I right. love that you you really are sort of like the observer. I think a lot of photographers are, but you sort of again, you melt those those two concepts of um, how you connect with the, the person as an observer, but how 
that person is interconnected to the greater cosmos. And as you say, that otherworldliness, the grid in terms of flora, fauna, and the earth. Yeah, and and I find like with that film Simulacra, what you're talking That's about. That's what, yes, exactly. Yeah, I actually filmed that at an art fair also with my iPhone and everyone was taking their iPhone pictures and I became one of them, which I am one of them. I post on Instagram, I'm a part of that, I'm not separate. And I feel um, as an artist to say, to stay humble in that. Like, I don't feel like I judge people. I feel like I am one of them. And equal. So, and equal. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was fun to watch these people take their own photographs and selfies and so forth to right. be able to post and, and in essence connect to the social world and that social media platform. So it was really kind of a neat connection. So I love how you are constantly connecting us and reminding human beings that we are connected even through social media as we, as we are, we're, we're connecting here um, and, and we're connecting here as well. So it's kind of a, it's a neat twist on what you do. So thanks Petra. Yeah. Um, we're going to, I mean, these, are, these, I love these beach scenes, but one of the things I, I, I love again is, is Le Copin. And here's one of the stills that was part of your friends that posed for you. And it, to me, as you said, it's, it's so reminiscent of Renoir's nudes um, and how, I mean, I even looked up a couple of Renoir's and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like, I've seen, I've seen that before somehow. I, of course, I never could find it, but it's so reminiscent of that. And I love, again, that interconnectedness of people who don't know each other, but are yet okay, okay being vulnerable to be naked and to connect. And, and what I love about this is each of them are alone, but they're not alone. And you feel it in this. And the energy that was between them was just this wonderful space and that's why the work came out so wonderfully. It's because of that. I, I feel like when I'm filming, who I'm filming, whatever, we create this energy, this like frequency. And that's what allows it. It's, I don't want it to be just pretty. I want it to, to touch people and have an emotion. And I think you see that when you're blurring your pictures, it's when it's not in focus, it has that sort of softer sort of feel to it, right. um, sort of a more comfortable feel for the, and it, it's a reflection of how they are obviously feeling with each other. Yeah, it becomes it's about intimate. the shape, the mm -hmm. form, and the light. Yeah, yeah. Love it. So we're moving into one of my favorites um, is Submerged. And here's the, the video. I'm going to let the viewing audience just see a few, few minutes of this, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. Something happened to the sound. Who oh, is it? <laughs> so, so tell me a little bit about Submerge then. I'd love yeah. to hear what, what the thought was behind it. So um, I have it right here, if I could. Mm -hmm. And when I first saw this, you had it under a, t under a bridge yeah. at night. Um, Submerged, the public art video installation, was under the bridge for West Palm Beach. It's uh, the Royal uh, Park Bridgeway that separates West Palm Beach from Palm Beach. And um, it was under the bridge. So the sounds of the water and the environment 
just blended in with the sounds of submerged. So that was really incredible. And uh, the video exhibition, it was for Canvas Outdoor Museum, where they have artists from all around the world doing murals in West Palm Beach. And I was the only artist to do a video installation. And it was an incredible experience. And uh, on the Coda Works platform, it actually won an award, which, uh, which is an online platform for global art and design projects. So that's really great. Mm -hmm. But I just want to tell you what Submerge, it explores the relationship human beings have with the environment, both in the personal and the universal context. We are not separate from the earth. The human body contains 70% of water fluids and the ocean waters cover more than 70% of the earth itself. Water represents our connectedness to the earth and to each other. And um, it's also to me about taking the plunge, each of us taking the plunge to jump into the unconsciousness and to jump into the levels of our soul. And I think that's how we keep transforming by doing that. It takes a lot of courage to do that. So that's what the work is about as well. That transformation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a great piece. One of the things that we have here as well within the um, Coral Springs Museum of Arts uh, exhibition, Supernatural with you, uh, Cheryl Mater and also Gary Antonio is um, our collage wall. Our collage wall is an interactive opportunity for our guests to be able to color and paint one of the supernatural pieces, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, tell us the name of this piece, the piece here and, and the bubble. Oh, yeah. So these pieces are from uh, my series, uh, The World Upside Down. And in this series, the bubbles, which also was not done digitally, this whole series was done on location. It's about how everything on this planet is a reflection of something else. And it's about reflections. And also I feel the world now is a little upside down. So it kind of works with that theme as well. Absolutely. And I, I think it's sort of cathartic for those to come in and color these pieces of an upside down world. Yeah. Um, yeah. As you can see, it really does reflect that when people start putting this on the collage wall. It's um, something that we thought was really important that uh, our guests be able to contribute to this exhibition. And I love that interactive element too. Absolutely. Well, right now is a moment where we ask a lot of our viewers uh, if the, and also our in-house uh, guests if they have any questions about any of the pieces tonight. Although I think that you and I had a marvelous chat to, tonight. There were some questions that I had that I think a lot of our guests also had online as well. Um, we want to thank our guests this evening for coming in. And we hope that we have more people coming in to the Supernatural. Don't miss out. We have, it's open until March 6th. I want to thank Cheryl Mater for coming in. This has been phenomenal. And also Gary Antonio, thank you very much for coming in as well. And I would like to thank all of you. I would love to thank Jill Brown, who is the executive director, who has such amazing aesthetic and is a phenomenal collaborator. And working with all of you, Petra, Brittany, Natasha, and Fiorella, has been just incredible for me. Everyone has just been wonderful and I'm just very appreciative to have my work in this incredible space. It's been a pleasure working with both of you through this process. Um, it's been a very exciting and it's been a very different uh, ex exhibition for this museum and we're thrilled to be having it. It's um, incredible to see both of you here and our guests. In addition to our online viewers on Facebook and YouTube, we're glad that you guys took the time to sit down with us and have a little chit chat and art explain with Cheryl Mater. Thanks so much again. Please join us in February on our third Thursday. 
we'll be having another art explaining. So take care and thanks again. Have a good evening.